How do I get a miniature that looks like me and is carrying an axe? Like this. First, heat the metal for the axe blade. But use a real heat source. I'm using flooring nails here that are left over from a project at my house, and I'm heating them up till they're red hot, and then pounding them into shape. Notice how I draw the hammer away from the nail to try to draw the blade into a thin shape rather than just smashing it flat. As you can tell, I don't really know what I'm doing. This is the miniature that I found that I thought looked most like me. I don't plan to portray myself as a warlock, so I need to remove the spell and also this strange wand thing, so I'll cut it off. The axe blades I've made seem to be just about the right size for an oversized D&D tool. That popped off really easily. Time to clean up the little knob that held on the spell and also to cut off all of the molding lines on the miniature. Sharpen the axe a little bit. Do you like the sound of the file or the hacksaw better? Let me know in the comments. This is a close enough representation of my actual axe. Now for the handle. I'm going to use this extra long toothpick, which I've got to cut to length, that's appropriate for the miniature. I'm gonna cut all the way around the toothpick before I break it so that I don't have any rough edges. Now it's time to remove that wand so there's room for the axe. I'm going to use a pin to support the axe handle, keep it securely in the miniature's hand, so I need a hole to put the pin through. The pin needs to go through the handle as well or else it won't be strong. I had to do this twice because the first time I tried carving things down and then drilling a hole and cutting and I ended up splitting the axe handle as you'll see in a moment. So I discovered that the best way to do this is to first drill the hole down the length of the toothpick, then to carve it into shape, and then to cut it to length so that it fits on the pin in the miniature's hand. I don't think Rossini intended this dramatic moment in his music to accompany the carving of an axe handle from a toothpick, but I like it. As with the blade, I didn't try to perfectly replicate the shape of the axe handle. Instead, I just tried to give it a nice bit of interesting texture that'll be fun to paint and to make it so that it didn't look exactly like a toothpick. Here you can see my first attempt, which split. The handle didn't fit flush against the miniature's hand, so I had to carve down the plastic of the hand a little bit more so that I could get the axe on fairly straight. Here's my first attempt at putting the axe head together. I tried to use super glue on a piece of parchment paper, but it didn't hold together. I think that the residue left by this first attempt did make my second attempt, where I held the axe head up, a little bit easier because there was something for the glue to grip onto.
and I've got to cut the pin to length. The axe head is a bit lumpy, so I'll try to file it down a little bit and also cut it with a knife without cutting myself. Not perfect. I can see some mold lines still, but I'm ready to start painting, which will be in the next video. Thanks for watching.